All right, so I've been asked about wringing the towel when swinging a sword. So this all has to do with edge alignment and the cut. And I'm going to do it from a downward strike to explain it. If I don't wring the towel, which I'll explain what that is in just a minute, if I go down to swing like this without wringing the towel, sure, my strikes are going to be really, really fast, but my ability to cut is going to be compromised. Let's look at why. When I go swing like this, how many axes do I have going through into that swing right there? Well, I have the sword going straight into the camera. This arm here, its axis, axis is going off this way. It's not following the axis of the sword. The other arm here is going off this way. Its axis is, again, not following the axis of the sword. So this creates a stabilization issue because each arm is pulling the blade in different directions and causes the blade to kind of wiggle like this as I'm swinging down. You may not notice it very much as you swing down like that, but there's a little bit of wobble that goes into the blade as you're cutting down due to the arms being on different axes from the blade. Now, wringing the towel refers to wringing a towel. So in other words, you see I'm going like this to wring the towel. You're going to do the same thing, but on the tsuka or the handle of the sword. So when I come through and swing, I'm going to wring the towel like that. And you see what that does is now you see my arms are now brought in. So now my axis of each arm is closer aligned to the axis of the blade. This is going to eliminate wobble. And it's not going to wobble that much, even if you don't do that. But the point is, you have more wobble like this than you do if you bring and ring the, the tsuka or the handle of the sword. So you can see now, especially you can see from the top here, I don't know, let me see if I can get this from the top. All right, so if I don't ring the tsuka, you'll see I'll come down like this. You see how the arms are nowhere, they're not aligned with the blade. But if I ring the tsuka, you can see how my arms are now brought into alignment with the sword, or much, much more closer to being aligned with the sword. This right here is going to create a better uh, energy into the blade so that the blade cuts better. Again, eliminating wobble and allowing you better control over the stability of the blade as it swings through its cutting arc. So again, it's all about eliminating wobble during the cut. So if I come down, I'm going to do a kesegiri. Same thing, I want to squeeze that suka so my arms are in the same line as I'm going down. If I'm doing a kesegiri and I just do it like that, I'm getting the same wobble problem. So squeeze the suka to get rid of that wobble in the blade. Remember, you're trying to find you know, chinks in the armor and stuff like that when you're cutting with that sword there, assuming that, you know, it's military type combat or just the other person has armor or whatnot. You need to be very precise. You want to eliminate that wobble. That wobble can cause you to bounce off of stuff. You know, you hit someone in the head and you're not quite aligned, you're going to hit it. You might knock them out, you might crush your skull, but you're not going to cut through. You need to eliminate that wobble to ensure, to ensure as much cut through as possible. So even if I come through like that, I'm going to swing this way. As I go through and swing this way, if I don't squeeze the tsuka, you're going to see my arms are up like that. I need to squeeze the tsuka to bring everything into alignment on every single one of my cuts. Now, the way you squeeze is going to be different based upon the angle that you're coming from. But the idea is to get the arms into alignment with the path of the blade to eliminate wobble.